All right, we're recording. The date is May. Try to point the camera the right way. Date is May 29th, 2.47 p.m. Hopefully you can see that. It's a Sunday. Fortunately, couldn't go riding earlier than this, but here we are. And we're going to go to a new spot on the bike ride today. Not new in the sense that I've never been there before, but new for you guys. And I haven't been there in years. And I've never biked around there. I've walked around there. I've run there. Um, I've been there a lot as a kid for field trips with family, all that kind of stuff. It's actually number one tourist attraction in Georgia, I think. Uh, most popular tourist destination in the state. And that is Stone Mountain Park. That's where we're headed. I only live a, a couple miles from, uh, you know, we're leaving the neighborhood, leaving the crib now to, uh, to the park. I only live about a couple miles from it now. So, yeah. We're two days out from another race, so just biking for now, taking it easy. And we already got the chain jammed, so that's great. So this bike ride might not even happen. Yeah, we got to get this bike. <laughs> got to get this bike a tune-up, man. That is not a good sign. We're good now, but I don't know, man. I'm not trying to get into an accident. And we have to go back. So I just realized that we forgot our helmet. So we gotta go back. I also wasn't timing this ride with my stopwatch, I forgot. You know, if that really matters that much. This is not good though. Let me see. That is not good that the gears just locked up on us right there. First hill. It's not good. But yeah, I was looking, um, I haven't been to Snow Mountain Park in years, but I was looking at, on my phone, looking at uh, the trail. And I think I'm just gonna do like a simple loop around the mountain, around the park. But it might be long, honestly. I think it's gonna be at least six miles, that loop. And then, you know, a couple miles to get there and a couple miles to get back. So maybe 10 miles. I don't know. I'm going to try to take it easy, though. Because, like I said, we're racing again Tuesday evening again, Tuesday night. Two days from now. On the, uh, the 31st of May. And around the 400 and the 3K, that's the plan. But, yeah, we got to go back inside real quick. Because... My dumbass forgot my helmet. Safety first, can I see? Actually, hi Griffith, hi Precious, hold on. Silva, you'll be fine, relax or so. Oh wait, what am I doing? My helmet's over here. Watch out. This is Griffith. Say hi, Griffith. This is Precious. And that's Silva in the crate. 
Silva. He's a little sad, but we'll only be gone for like an hour. Hopefully an hour. That's the plan, at least. Yeah, hopefully an hour. And I, I don't really, I don't plan on running today. I could change my mind, but I really don't think I am. Because last week, two days out from racing, I didn't even run or bike. I took that day off. I hadn't had a day off in like three weeks. So I don't think we're going to run today and just maybe do an easy run tomorrow and or Tuesday morning. Forgot about this annoying strap. Gotta move it out of the way. I'm wearing the glasses today. Been busy all day and did not feel like putting on my contact lenses. Especially since I'm not running. When I'm running, I care a lot more about wearing contact lenses, but for biking, it doesn't really make much of a difference to me. All right, here, now I'm gonna start the stopwatch. Okay. Sorry, I, I look down at the camera every once in a while to make sure that it's rolling. That's why if you ever see my chin or my nose just stick in the frame, it's because I'm looking down at the, uh, the LED, the LED light on the camera to make sure that it's, it's filming. Because then I would need to record this all over again. But yeah, I think our battery should hold up this whole time. It held up for over 90 minutes yesterday. Or two days ago. Yesterday I did a track workout. Which was actually really good. I'm still so far behind. It's the 20, what did I say it was? Sunday the 29th? And I still haven't uploaded the race footage from Tuesday. But that's because I actually have to edit that video. I mean, I have to edit these bike vid biking videos and running videos, like first person videos, but not very much. It's pretty simple. They do take a while to process. They gotta like process overnight on YouTube. But I have two videos already ready to go. And then this one will have to, hopefully this one, Hopefully that dude almost just got himself in a wreck. That's why you gotta be careful when uh, you can't see ahead of a hill and you cross into oncoming traffic like that to pass a cyclist. You gotta be careful what you're doing. But anyway, what was I saying? So, um, yeah, I have, I have two, what is it? So I have a biking video. I mean, like I said, I'm going to upload them in the order that I, you know, that I recorded them. So you won't hear all this till after anyway, but I have um, the 16 plus mile bike ride video and then the 13 plus mile run video. Both of those are finished. I'm just, I need to finish the, uh, the race video from Tuesday, upload that for upload that, have the YouTube process it first. And then I will make the other, those two videos that I was just talking about public. So I gotta finish the race video and then I'll make the 16 plus mile bike ride and 13 plus mile run videos public. And then hopefully I'll finish that today, hopefully. I just haven't had time to edit videos, but hopefully I'm gonna finish that today and edit this video today, which is just gonna be a nice little stroll around Stone Mountain Park, which like I said, I've been to Stone Mountain Park probably, I don't know, several dozen times probably, but not any time recently. Oh, I guess uh, the most recent, the last time I've been to Snow Mountain Park was with my ex, one of my exes, two years ago. That is probably the last time I've been there. But we were walking with my uh, dog and stuff. 
we were walking up the up the mountain up and down but yeah i i want to make a video of walking up and down the mountain actually because the view from the top is beautiful you can see the uh atlanta city skyline way in the distance you can see like lakes and stuff it's really cool but um yeah we'll have to do that another day record walking or jogging or running up and down the mountain but for now we're just going to bike around the mountain which i've never done before so hopefully i don't get lost i, I don't think i'm going to get lost because i um uh i went on the uh I went online before this, like I said, a few times to make sure I understood the route and everything. And I think that I do. So that's good. I'm gonna actually go on the sidewalk for once. I think it's the first video I've been on the sidewalk with my bike. But I'm gonna do it just for now because I believe we're gonna go right at this light. And yeah, like I said, it's not far. Hopefully the camera is going to pick up the beautiful, scenic, picturesque views of the mountain and the park and all that. But yeah, there's more trails that kind of go, you know, closer to the mountain and stuff. Like uh, across the park, through the park. Not, not through the mountain. There's really just one path up and down the mountain that's open to, uh, open to the public. But through the park itself there are trails i saw them online but i'm not gonna bike those today because i don't really know them i don't want to get lost so i'm gonna just try to do a simple loop along the road around the mountain complete the loop and then come back essentially the same way we came that's the plan hopefully going over these bumps i do not knock the uh chain off because that'd be very bad Could very easily come off. I hope we're going the right way. I didn't really get a chance to look around too much. So yeah, I hope we're going the right way. Oh, we definitely are. You can already see the mountain in the background. These trees are blocking it, but it's beautiful. We're definitely going the right way. Wish we could ride along these railroad tracks. I don't know what that clown just yelled out of the car, but oh, there's a there's a path on the other side. I'm stupid. I need to cross. Yeah, I'm gonna cross. So this is where the path that I run on continues. Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to run on this path for a video too. Maybe I'll run the same loop that I'm biking for a video. Maybe I'll just run it in the opposite direction. Because I haven't really decided if I should go right or left around the mountain. I'm gonna just go with whatever looks, I don't know, just when we get there, I'm gonna just decide on a whim, just make a decision. This is nice though. I don't know if I've ever, driven along this road so like i said i've been to Stone mountain park many times but that was driving from like summer camp or from my parents house which is not which is like 15 minutes from here her house so we would take the highway like the whole way there so Yeah, I don't know if I've ever been here. Yeah, I could definitely add on some solid mileage running this this path. This is solid.
I gotta take it easy on my legs though. I really gotta try to force myself to take it easy. So like I said, I'm in the, I'm in the highest gears again right now and quads are burning a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Just take it nice and slow, relax. Got the water tower there. A little rusty, but hey, you know, it's like an antique. Builds character, man. I like it. Got the railroad tracks to my right. There's some trailers over there. A lot of trailers over there. Another rest area to the left. Yeah, I was wondering why there was no bike lane near the park, but it makes sense. It's because this path is right here. I was riding the street, like, where's the bike lane? Now it all makes sense. All right, we got to go while we have the right of way here. Wait, we're still in... We're still in East Ponce. I think we're... We're still going the right way though. We gotta be. I really don't wanna make a wrong turn because this is already, assuming I make all the right turns, this is already gonna be like 10 miles, which is a decent amount for what's supposed to be like a rest day or an easy day at the very least. Oh, that's what I was gonna say is I was gonna tell you guys the track workout I did yesterday. Oh, I have actually been here like in my car yo that is a huge stack of lumber wood right there i don't know if you guys can see that all right we got another guy on a bike here we gotta cross with this guy Wait, why doesn't he just cross right now? Yeah, I was gonna say. All right, nice. Now, I think that I can get to Stone Mountain Park from here. Oh yeah, because I, I remember actually, when I was scouting this neighborhood, this area, when I was, uh, when I was trying to decide where I was gonna move when I was moving out of my parents' house. I drove around here to scout the area, I remember, when I was deciding on a home. There's Stone Mountain. You can still see it in the distance. Hopefully you guys have a clear view of that. That is just beautiful. It is Sunday, so I'm not surprised. There are a lot of bikers out right now. We're definitely going the right way, though. Because I can see the mountain. And I'm encountering a lot of bikers. So we are for sure going the right way. So hopefully we stay on the right path. But anyway, I'll try to describe you guys. Oh, also, I'm going to try not to bump the lens today because every video I'm getting a little bit of, like, water on the lens. I don't want to keep doing that. I clean the lens before every, uh, every video I shoot. I just need to try not to bump it with my sweaty hand or anything. Now, if it rains, there's nothing I can really do about that, but I do not think it's going to rain right now. Definitely not. keep checking my back I feel like some dude on like a much faster bike is just gonna whiz by me I don't want to be in their way oh yeah okay we're getting we're getting to like downtown like Stone Mountain Village we're almost there I think yeah, that road behind the railroad tracks that looks kind of cool 
I kind of want to go over there. But not right now. That's a beautiful house to my left. Yep, so Mountain Village, like I said, here we are. Wow. That's a beautiful view of the mountain. It's like a huge granite quartz, like alloy, whatever. That's what the rock is made out of. I think it, it, there's a lot more underground too, but the part that you can see, that's... Wow. Okay, so now I need to figure out what I'm doing though. I should have read what that sign said. It was telling me where to go. I'm gonna just go this way. Cause I know this, I know this way. I've driven here before. Oh yeah, so I could, I could take the path that I, that I walked before with my ex. I could just take that. Cause then I at least know I'll get to the mountain. I just don't know if that'll take me to the road that I want to go on that loops around the mountain, around the park, I should say. It's not around the mountain, there's, there's surrounding area. The park isn't just the mountain. There's park land around the mountain, but. I'm gonna just try to make this work. I want to tell you guys about the track workout, but I first want to make sure I'm going the right way. I'm going to go right here. This is probably not the right way. I really don't know. I think it's not the right way. It says there's a bike path up ahead here, but that's a beautiful church. Stone Mountain First United Methodist Church. Okay, I need to figure out what the heck I'm gonna do. It sounds like these brakes are already like dying on me. Like they need to be lubricated already. I shouldn't say already, because I haven't gotten a tune-up and I haven't used the bike in a long time. All I did was get the inner tubes replaced. So yeah, this bike definitely needs a tune-up. But anyway, I guess while we're trying to figure out how to get back to where I want to go, I could tell you guys about the track workout. It's probably the best workout... I mean, I haven't been training hard or competing or training for competitions, anything like that in so long, so it makes sense. But it's probably the best workout I've had since college. So I did, I did like a... Okay, let me, let me make sure I know what I'm doing here. I'm going to just keep following this road because it parallels with the other road that I turned off of. And, I, and we could see which direction the mountain is because it's huge. So it should be up ahead and on our left somewhere, I think. So I'm gonna just keep going this way. I just, I wanted to get off that main road because there were so many cars on it and it goes straight through, through a uh, downtown area. But maybe I should have gone that way. I don't know. New stop signs, interesting. See, that's what I'm thinking is I'm going to just, you don't want to go? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to just, I don't feel like going down that hill because then I'm going to have to go back uphill. I'm hoping, plus I'm hoping once we get back out on this main road, I'm going to be able to see where the mountain is again. Like get, get some eyes on it. 
But yeah, the track workout I did yesterday was I did like a three mile warm up to the track. And then I put it all in on my phone. I got to remember. But then I did uh, 1600, just four laps around the track, almost a mile in five, 507. See, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I think I went way too far, Brody. I, I just got to make the first left that I see. Oh, uh, whatever. Anyway, three mile warm up then. 1600 in five, five minutes, seven seconds, 507. Then five minutes rest. Then a thousand meters. Um, a thousand meters in 303, and then 400 meter jog, then 400 meters in 67 seconds, then 400 meter jog, then 400 meters in 67 seconds, then a 800 meter jog, and then a thousand meters again in three minutes, 301, three minutes, one second. Then 400 meter jog. Then 400 meters in 66 seconds. Then 400 meter jog. Then 400 meters in 64 seconds. And then I think uh, 200 meter walk slash jog. Ralph Randolph Medlock Park. And then, um, and then 200 meter walk, or no, sorry, 200 meter walk slash jog into a 200, 200 meters at 27 seconds. And then 200 meter walk slash jog again into 200 meters at 27 seconds again. And then two mile cool down. And that was the workout yesterday like 10 total miles or something yeah like three mile warm-up five mile workout and two mile cooldown <sighs> guys I just I just went the wrong way man I don't know what to say I, I do I just go down this road just see where it takes me I like oh I messed up man I really messed up <sighs> oh I feel like some dog or deer or any type of animal is just about to jump out at me on this road. This is a beautiful road though. This is like, this is a suburb of Atlanta, but it looks like a rural area. It's like nestled back here, just isolated. It's kind of nice. I should have just stayed on that right main road, man. I should have, I was thinking about turning around but I was like, nah, that's boring. That's boring. I want to explore. Okay, well, wait. Looks like the main road is coming to us here. Or we're going to it, really, but you know what I meant. I think we're getting close. Unless, oh, this doesn't take us out to the main road, does it? I don't think it's going to. This was a cool path, though, I will say. The thing is, we have to cross the railroad tracks to get back to the main road. So, damn. And there's not that many railroad crossings. See those railroad tracks to my right? We have to get across there. Oh, I just really messed up, man. It's okay, though. This is just going to be a longer video. If this bike ride takes hella long, I hope the camera battery lasts. Wow, that's a beautiful house and that's a nice Corvette. Okay, we could just walk across. Oh yeah, see, this is a dead end. This is most definitely a dead end. See, it didn't say dead end when we came in, but I was expecting a dead end. I'm just gonna walk the bike across. I do not care. I'm gonna go off road for a bit for the culture. Wow, this is a steep uphill though. Jeez. 
I want to pick up the bike because I really don't want the chain to come off. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't know if we can walk up here with the bike. I don't even think it's going to fit. That's what she said. Pause. Okay. <laughs> we can get up here, but with the bike? I don't know. Oh, and there's thorns here, bro. This is not ideal. <sighs> I should have just turned around. I might just hurt myself trying to go up here. Plus, wait, these thorns, I do not want to pop the tires, bro. I'm not going to go this way. This is a stupid idea. I did stupid stuff like this as a kid, and it never works out well. So. Oh, I don't want to go this slow, but if I don't pick up the bike, then I'm afraid of it coming off the chain. So we're just gonna have to carry the bike. Get in a extra upper body workout too, even though I was planning on doing one after this anyway. You gotta get an extra one. Like why does this ridge have to be so steep here? Jeez, man. If it just wasn't so steep. Holy. I'm just trying to look for a good opening, a nice clearing. Surely people have walked on these railroad tracks before and walked up the street this way but I'm not seeing a good opening right now it's getting less steep over here but oh okay we can fit through here maybe with the bike ow my shin is going to be cut now okay nice well, this has been one interesting video so far. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Oh. All right, we made it. Jeez. There's guardrails here. I definitely cut my shin. Okay. I see where we're going to go now, though. There's a shoulder here, so I'm going to go. Yeah, my shin is bleeding. It's fine, though. I'm gonna just wait for these cars to pass. I'm gonna step on the shoulder and I'm gonna take that turn, that exact turn that that blue SUV just took. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> this car has come non stop, man. There's probably so many people at the park on Sunday. I need to wrap this up too, man, because the camera's already been going for about 28 minutes. I think the camera battery's only gonna last like an hour, 40 minutes, or an hour, 45 minutes tops, something like that. All right, we out though. I can see the mountain. We went the total wrong direction. Like, I knew I was taking a longer route when I went off the main road. I, I knew that. But I didn't realize that I was taking that much of a longer route. I went straight for way too long when I needed to cut in left. Now it's just a question of... That's a beautiful house again. But now it's just a question of can we get to the mountain... Wow, this is, an, this is just a huge W, man. This whole area is just gorgeous. Oh, that, wait. That neighborhood to my right, I think that's where I was considering buying um, a home, where I was considering living closer to the mountain. But couldn't afford that place realistically oh there's a park right there they're playing soccer and stuff wow this house is kind of nice too i like the vibes 
This area is a whole W. Oh my, is this a, oh, there's a deer. I told you guys I'd find a deer. This is a dead end, bro. Uh, and see, I was gonna turn by that soccer field and I changed my mind, I should have done it. That's a deer, look at that. Hey deer. Hey there, deer. Wait, so what do they call, female deer are called fawn, right? And then male deer is called a buck? Or is the fawn the children? I honestly can't remember. But I know buck and fawn are, that's deer lingo, I know that much. Yeah, this is another nice cul-de-sac, not cul-de-sac really, but nice little dead end. Nice area. Okay, just please tell me we can get to the mountain from this way, bro. Surely there's a part. Oh, they're hooping. They're not playing soccer. Yo, wait. I'm going to come out here and make a hooping video. I haven't hooped in so long. Damn, I wish my battery. I got to use my phone for that. That has a lot more battery. I'm going to just come out here and just see if I can play pickup basketball sometime. Make a video on that. That'd be dope. Because I used to play pickup ball every day at LA Fitness. They got the Ukrainian flags. Yo, that is, I'm glad I found that spot. I gotta go back there one of these weekends when I, when I have time. They look like they're having fun. This, this it looks like they're barbecuing something too or something. I don't know. Yo, what is this semi truck doing here? Got a church right here. Man, just get me to the mountain already, man. God, I'm so stupid. If I just stayed on the main road, it would have been a straight shot to where I needed to go. My dumb ass just didn't want to go with all the cars and thought I could easily go around. And here we are, man. God. Sometimes I do the most stupid shit. <sighs> Just get me out of here, man. Get me to Stone Mountain, please. All right, what do we got? Another church. Do not enter. What are they talking about? All right. Okay, what is this? Surely if we go right here, we're gonna be close. If we go right where all those cars are headed. Surely, surely, surely. All right, we gotta stop. Oh, that road went straight to the mountain kind of, but it, it could be another dead end. That's the thing, I just don't know, so. It's probably better I went this way. Stay on the main roads. I already learned my lesson there. Trying to take scenic routes and more bike friendly routes and then look where I end up. Wasting a lot more time. Racking up a lot more miles. Oh, I just realized I should have stopped the watch so I could know exactly how long I've been biking for. I'll have to check the footage. Because I had to log that in my training log. Cross training. Dog park closed. That's tough. That looks like a nice dog park. What are these signs talking about? Keep seeing these signs. I'm not reading them. Warning. Something about the water. Violator. Oh, buried fiber optic cable. That's what it says. No parking. This place looks abandoned anyway, my guy. Sheesh. Okay. My lord. Oh, this looks like a good place to park for free if you're on a mountain. Yeah. I'm going to remember that spot.
because my ex showed me this one spot, but it's right next to a police station. So it's a little sketch. I think that spot's better. All right. We finally got back to a main road, homie. Finally. Come on. We can't be that far now. It's got to be right over this hill. Jeez, man. I don't think we should even do the full loop around the mountain today, honestly. Or I'm going to just end up biking for two hours. And the battery will die. Jeez. My lord. I just keep following this road. Stone cliff. Townhouses. Why do I gotta stop here, bro? It's the whole L. Road closed. That's tough. These houses are beautiful. This is a beautiful street, man. This reminds me of like around Emory University where I race on Tuesday. Woman's Club, that's what that says to the right. L feminism, man. L feminism. Just kidding. Nice. We're at the park. I know this road. Nice. We're here, man. There's the main parking lot for the park. We made it. That's a W. Now I know exactly which road I'm going to take back. All right, so what? We're 35 minutes in. We made it. Now the question is, do I keep, do I do the full loop? If I can even do the full loop without getting lost, I don't, don't know if I can. Clearly, I don't know how to follow simple directions. What does this road say? Nice. See, this is the road I need. This is the main road right here. This is the main road. Oh, can I not bike through here for free? I'm about to find out. Open trailer, enter right. I don't know if I can bike. I guess I can just bike through here for free. Them mother truckers are paying, but I'm just biking through. Cross right here. See, I should have just, I knew which road I was supposed to take. And I just didn't do it. Land a track club. That's the same organization that sponsored uh, sponsors the race that I ran. What is this person talking about, bro? More parking over here. Yeah, wow, there are a lot of people here on Sundays, which I knew that. I've always known that, but I guess I've been reminded about it now. See, I'm on the right path. There's bikers here. But... I don't know if I should be going on the sidewalk or not. That's the thing. I don't know. Oh my, this is a W trail, man. See, that's the, that's the mountain to my right. The outskirts of it. Oh my, I gotta come run down here, man. Damn. It's crazy I've never run down here. Like, I've run up the mountain, and I've been to the park many times, but never actually run around these trails. There's trails that go through the park, too, like I said. Probably, like, off-road trails. Like, like not paved. Like, dirt trails. But this paved trail already is nice. Wow, we're going 14 miles per hour. I'm, I'm kidding, that, that's really not very fast. I've run faster than that before. No cap. Yo, oh my, this trail's a W. I have to get out here to run on this trail. I don't like though that this whole thing is like a slight downhill right now. We 
which makes me think, you know, to do this full loop, I'm going to pay for it with some, some uphill, an uphill climb on the way, on the way back around. I don't even know what is going on right now, though. I don't know. Yo, this is just a massive W, though. That's all I'm going to say. Wow. I don't have a stop sign. That's good. Damn, you see, I see the mountain. Robert E. Lee Boulevard. That's what. That's the road. That's the main road. If you guys don't know. There's three, three uh, people's um, like their depictions are carved into the side of the mountain, and they're all former Confederate leaders. So now, you, the more you know, man. If you haven't been here, now you know. Robert E. Lee was the um, leader of the Confederate Army during the Civil War. And then you have Stonewall Jackson out there. And I don't remember who the third person is that's carved into the mountain, but... Dude, the part... This is just beautiful, bro. This is honestly beautiful. That's another entrance into the park there. Buddy said, "America." Man does not give a fuck, bro. He just walked in the street. He does not care. Every side street, I gotta check to make sure we're on the road that I'm supposed to be on. Cause I've already taken too many wrong turns. Wow, that yard and that house, that's beautiful. It's beautiful, but it's also kind of sad because probably a former plantation house that, oh, that had slaves and slave owners. Stone Mountain Inn. Oh, my quads are burning, man. Jeez. I wanna just bike through the park to show you guys, like we can get a better view. It's just beautiful, man. There's just so many trees blocking the view here. could have stopped and shown you guys what I just saw because I don't think you guys could see on the camera dude I don't know these brakes do not sound like the most trustworthy so I'm a little bit concerned dude there's so many parking lots bro and they're all like full oh. All right, we got more downhill here, man. Jeez. Yeah, this sidewalk really goes around the whole mountain. Yo, that's a Jeep, bro, another. And I'm trying to say it, bro, but I, I, I will say it. Probably, probably a Trump supporter, man, probably. This another person just walking the street, not giving a shit. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Thank goodness there's not a million stop signs around here. Oh. Got like campgrounds and stuff. It's 
just a huge all around W, man. People just having picnics and stuff. It's amazing. Waterfront here to my left. You can actually go in the water here? I didn't even know that. Yeah, stuttered picnic area. Lakeview lot. Kind of want to go down there, bro. If you can see the lake there. I think I'm about to go down there, honestly. I'm about to go down there, bro. Fuck it. I've already added so much time onto this journey, so many miles. May as well get a good view of the lake. I could just turn back around now, but that uphill looks brutal. Although if I go all the way around, it's probably not gonna get any better. I could just turn around, stop, take my time, and and uh, try to show you guys a better view of the mountain. I don't know. I feel like that's probably a better idea. Oh man, they just having cookouts everywhere. Dogs there. It smells so good too. Oh yo. That is definitely a lake right there. Damn, wait. Am I seeing that right? Yeah. Oh man, I don't want to go out this uphill though. Damn, that is beautiful, bro. I don't know if you guys have a good view of that or not. It's just called the waterfront. It's interesting. I'm gonna go down here. No swimming. Uh, see that sucks. People fishing though probably. Fatal, if Fatal watches this video, he loves fishing. This is beautiful though, I can't even lie. I'm afraid of getting a flat tire. You guys see that? What is that building? Rusty. A rusty old tower of some sort. That's nice though. I don't think I've ever been down here. I really don't think I have. Oh. My left quad is burning out. I wish I could go in that dock. No, I could. I could just hop the fence to go in the dock, but. I ain't gonna do all that, especially with a bike and without a bike lock. Heck no. Plus, I'm not trying to get arrested for trespassing. I know the police is around here. Damn, I just didn't add on so much to this trip already. I think I just got to turn around, man. Maybe stop a few more times, rest the legs, and show you guys the views around this side of the park, the views of the mountain. I think that's the play. Canadian geese, man. Oh, they're always around here, man. Pooping everywhere. Oh, man. Yeah, I got to rest these legs, man. I got to. Yikes. Okay. Oh, I forgot though. This is going to be a brutal uphill. I might need to go into lower gear on the right, honestly. I've kept it in seven the whole time. Like every video. I got to turn it down.
I'm gonna just start turning in every, not every parking lot, but the main entrances where I have good views of the mountain. I'm gonna try to turn into those, show you guys those views, and then I'm gonna just head back. And I'm gonna head back on a more direct route too, hopefully, instead of the route I took to get here, which was, yeah. You already know how that went. I might just put this in like five or something, man, on the right, because, oh, the gear won't even change. That's not good. Oh wait, or is it low over here on this side? All right, this could be worse. Damn, see, that's a beautiful view. I gotta go in that parking lot to show you guys. Damn. Oh. Damn, they blocked off the gate. I'm just gonna go off road, bro. Fudge it. This is a mountain bike after all. Oh, I'm walking, bro. My legs are burning. Grass slows me down too much. Oh, man. There's a skyline. You can ride up to the top. It's beautiful. <clears throat> this guy got a souped up Dodge Challenger. Ram 1500. Reminds me of that commercial, man. Ram 1500 crew cap. You guys see that view? You see the, um, the uh, sculpture, like, carved into the side of the mountain that I was talking about. I think it's like the biggest rock face sculpture, or not sculpture, whatever you call it, in the world. It's pretty cool. What is this guy doing, bro? Like, gotta stop because there's more on. You wanna stay on the right side of the road. So many people out here. Man, it makes me wanna come back out here, man. I gotta hike or walk, jog, run, whatever, bike up the mountain, make a video. Especially since I can easily just slip in for free, I think. Since I'm on foot or on a bike. Walk up trail, one and a half miles. Yep, it's the main trail. I thought it was a mile, so it's a mile and a half to the top of the mountain. A mile and a half back down. According to them, at least. Yep, I've been here. It's been a while, though. Wow. I know this whole area now. <clears throat> to my right, that's what it looks like when you're on top of the mountain, like granite and whatnot. Memorial Hall. Yeah, we're just gonna bike around here and do that maybe for a few other entrances and then we're just gonna hop out of here and go back home. No trespassing beyond this point. Oh, that's the uh, jungle gym thing. I don't know what it's called. That's really fun though. I haven't done it in a long time, but I did it many times as a kid. It's actually really fun. It's a good workout too. This is one way, but um, yeah, we're not doing that. Need to break it to you. Every time I switch gears, I'm just, that's part of the reason why I haven't been switching gears very much. Every time I do, I, I'm about to, I get concerned that I'm gonna, 
gonna lock up. But hey, it is what it is. Oh, I can just walk across the crosswalk. Thank you. Okay, now I could turn in left here too. I'm considering it. I really want to, but I don't want to hold up all this traffic. I'm gonna do it. I'll just turn around in a minute. So I don't want to get in this person's way. Just pull a quick Yui. Quick Yui. Drive around this lot, I'll do that in the next lot, and then probably call it. Just so we can get some better views. Oh yeah, let's see the name of this. I don't know, Dinosaur Explorer, that's not what I was thinking of at all. Oh, that's a beautiful view, man. I'm gonna go this way so you guys have a good view. Yeah, this is the main entrance to the park right here. Oh, oh, I was not looking ahead and almost went to those potholes. Ah, this is the main entrance. This brings me back, man, to childhood memories. Wow. Welcome to Snow Mountain Park. Uh, ironically, I wasn't even saying that to the camera. I was just reading what the sign said, but yeah. I don't want to get in that cop's way and have them get annoyed. Dude, I remember this is where the bus like that goes in the water would always come from. Uh, he's looking for people to give tickets. That's what he's doing. Railroad Pavilion. Oh look, you can see the skyline. You can see people going up and down there. I haven't been on that in a while. Dang. That's for the lazy people that don't want to walk, but they want to get the view. Or if you're disabled. I kind of want to just keep going on this path and see if I can get out this way. But I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna go on this. I'm just exploring at this point. <sighs> just a ridiculous amount of parking. What the heck is this? Bro, this road is paved like, this is so weird. So bumpy. My watch is shaking on my wrist. Buckle up, Georgia, it's how we roll. Not gonna lie, that's pretty cringe, but good advice. Oh, my lord. It's fun that they have porta potties out here. I swear, everyone's cooking up something good, man. It all smells so good. Jeez. Oh my gosh, no, that smells so good. 
That brings me back, man. To when, like, you know, your family be, or friends at some somebody's house, they be barbecuing, cooking up some, some chicken wings, or, oh my gosh, man. Well, really, though, what that smells like is, what that smell that I just picked up, that smelled just like straight up hamburgers and hot dogs, like, on the grill, man. Smells good. If you actually watched this video up until this point, I have a question for you. You can answer in the comments. Who are you inviting to the cookout? That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. so many different roads to run on and bike on around here. I forgot how like, like I said, I've been to Stone Mountain so many times, especially as a kid. You know, whether it was with a summer camp or school trips even actually, school trips, summer camps with family, with friends, whatever. But I've never biked or ridden around the park. I've only been here, you know, on a car, coming on a car, a bus, and just kind of go to the entrance of the park and just, you know, I've been everywhere inside the park, you know, the stuff that you pay for, but like all these little trails around and through the park for bikers and runners and walkers and everything, I have not explored them like that. So I gotta start doing that. This is amazing. I definitely gotta film another video. If I didn't have a race in two days, I would do it. Uh, well, actually, I need to charge my bat camera battery anyway, but I would do it sooner if I didn't have a race coming up, but I gotta rest these legs. But one of these days, definitely gotta film a hike up and down the mountain. Definitely. First person POV. That would be awesome. Wow, that field is really nice. Looks like a nice place to play catch, football or anything like that. Baseball. I don't think I've seen that field before. Wait, I should have been reading what that sign said. Shoot. Actually, it doesn't really matter. I can just... Ooh, wait. Actually, what do I want to do? Yeah, I'll just... We'll just leave now. I don't know. It's kind of sad. I want to keep going, but... I'll just leave. Oh, I, I forgot there's literally a stop. Oh, shit. Oh, never mind. It's fine. I can go... Going out is easy. Just roll right out the gate. Like I said, there's police everywhere, man. Shoot. Thought that dude was about to get pissed because I didn't stop at the stop sign for a second. But yeah, that's the main gate where you gotta pay for your tickets and everything. We ain't doing none of that though. Ain't doing none of that. As a kid, my mom used to always have the pass though. The annual pass. And we get the Six Flags Over Georgia pass a lot of times for free because of uh, the summer camps to go to. Education Annex, Stone Mountain Memorial Association. Okay. Now, wait, we're in a school zone. This is a long uphill. But at least now I know where to go. I mean, I knew where to go, but I turned off the main road because I didn't feel like going with all the cars through the Stone Mountain Village in traffic. And boy, do I regret not doing that. I learned my lesson. 
but this, if I take this road, should take me straight through downtown and a pretty much a straight shot back to the crib. But my legs are shot. I think I need to take tomorrow off, man. Or I'm just gonna have potentially sore thighs for Tuesday's races. See, these people are smart. They're like me, walking or biking. Probably not from as far as I did, but they're parking from a distance for free and then entering the park for free, not paying for parking, not paying for entrance fee. Just walking. Like that one lot I saw, I need to remember where that is. I hope I remember where that is. Anyway, I can see downtown from here. Little historic district thing, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that's the road we came up from on the left. Now we're going to get to this light. We're going to get back home. I was hoping for this video to be an hour and it's already an hour and six minutes. Now thankfully I got off the bike, took a few breaks, but still, I've still been biking most of the time. Village Corner German Restaurant Bakery and Tavern. That sounds so good. What? I need to try that place out. Alright. See, this is the main intersection. It's like a five-way intersection. <sighs> Wait, what am I doing? I can just cross right here, I think. As long as no one... Shit. Unknown Confederate dead. Interesting. Now, again, if no one goes right here... Should just be able to go. All right, and we're out just like that. Crazy Ron's barbecue. Well, unfortunately, that wasn't the most eventful trip. You know, ran into a few uh, obstacles, one might say. But hey, now we'll be a more, more efficient next time. We'll be more efficient next time. And one of these days, I'll come over here with a... Uh, I'll come over here with um, either on foot or with my bike. If I come on my bike, I'll lock it up somewhere where no one can see it, some safe spot in, in the woods somewhere. Lock up my bike around a tree or something. And then, or, or around a, some metal railing, I don't know. Lock on my bike or run here, and then we'll hike up the mountain. Hike up and down the mountain. Probably just that though, because if I do any more than that, the camera battery will probably die. Especially if I'm on foot, which will take longer.
I gotta try to like research these trails that like snake in and around the park though. I did find the one main road though, which like I said, I'd been on, but I was in a car. I'd never been on it on a bike. And I didn't realize how long that main road goes for. Robert E. Lee Boulevard, like goes all the way around the park and it's pretty hilly, you know, I know that. Not very flat, unfortunately. So, at some point we'll run or bike around that entire loop for a video. But for now, we got some good footage in, some good exercise. Now we have plans for next time. There's that water tower again. They're building something there. I don't know what they're gonna use that building for. But. Hmm. Just have to wait and find out. It says for Lise Peter Shin. And if you want to call that phone number, go ahead and then be my guest. Get yourself an office space. All the entrepreneurs, small business owner wannabes in the comments, that's all you. All right, we're about to be back on the trail. Oh man. We're gonna go into the highest gear for the first time in a while. This guy to my left, you can see he's got that the serious bike, bro. He's got the LED blinker on the back. It's a road bike, way thinner tires. I have a mountain bike with thick tires with tread and huge suspension. He's got that tryhard bike. The ergonomic handlebars. Th tires are so thin, my lord. He's got the tryhard helmet, the tryhard try hard shirt, biking shorts, biking shoes. He's got everything. He's not even going that fast. I'd catch him in a heartbeat if I had a real bike. This is a real bike. In fact, this is actually a really quality bike, but if I had a speed bike, I should say. That bike's made for speed. This one's made for off-roading. But yeah, I love this bike. And as long as it still works, I do not plan on switching. Plus, I prefer a mountain bike to a bike like that. Because that bike is really fast and really optimized for being on the road. But the second you go off-road, the second you go off-road, that thing will not work. Will not work at all. 
This bike's more versatile. Much more versatile. It's just slower. But hey, I don't mind because I'm running so many miles. I gotta force myself to take it easy anyway. I cannot wait to eat after this, man. I gotta stretch, do a workout in the garage, and feast. Feast. Okay, my helmet just bumped on the branches. That's cool. Very cool. Oh my lord. I'm definitely not running today. We've been rolling for an hour and 15 minutes. Oh, there was an accident up here. It's not good. Okay, now the question is which way is EMS and these officers gonna let me go? Because I can go either left or straight and get home easily, but I don't know what they're doing with traffic here. Oh, I'm gonna just go on the bike path on the way back, the same way this guy in the blue shirt is going. Oh, my Lord. It is quite hot as well, if you can't tell. I'm just following this guy, man. He's not going on the bike path, and neither am I. Oh, now he is. But I'm staying here because I'm about to make a left anyway across these railroad tracks. All right, I want to switch gears here and I do not want them to jam up again. Unless I can make it all the way up in gear two and seven. Maybe I can. It's all about that momentum, baby. So I like. Beautiful. All right. 
almost home. My butt hurts. I'm sitting on the seat and I have no seat cushion. My gluteus maximus. About to get a good stretch and rehydration in. It's gonna be great. Oh, you know what? I forgot we had extra time added onto the trip too, because my dumbass forgot uh, my helmet and had to turn around. So that also added on extra mileage. Yeah, well, they're throwing a birthday party for their kid back there. That's really nice. In fact, that house, I think that's the exact house. That was another house I considered moving into, I think. That exact one, funnily enough. Quite the coincidence. And they put a hole, but I'm glad they move in there because they have no backyard. They're using their concrete driveway in the back as a backyard. But hey man, that's good they're doing that for their kids. For their kids' friends, that's W parents right there. But yeah, there's no grass back there, nothing. Or there is, but not very much, I don't think. Here we got a real backyard for all the dogs I take care of and for my dog. I love that. That's what we love to see. In fact, I can't wait to see them. I'm about to see them. Been gone an hour, 20 minutes. Going to be happy to see me. I'm gonna go left, the slightly longer route, because why not? I'm gonna have to go check the footage and see how, how much time we actually spent on the bike. My guess is like 70 of these, what, it's about to be like 82 minutes total for this video. Probably like 70 of the minutes was been spent on the bike. I think, maybe, maybe not that much. Final uphill push of the journey. Oh my goodness. So many cars parked along the street. There's always some, but it's like more than usual. Oh my goodness. All right. Jeez. We're back. Thank you guys so much for watching. you watched it this far in I really appreciate you hopefully you enjoyed oh my gosh I might keep the rolling the video rolling I can't even talk I got that weightless feeling in my legs again might keep the video rolling while I do a quick physique check maybe a weight check too I don't weigh myself enough and it's good to it's good to check so I'm trying to stay under 150 while I race during this quote unquote racing season as I'm getting back into competing for the first time in ages I'm trying to stay under around or preferably under 150 Griffith stay there Precious stay there good job watch out Silva run Silva. No, Silva. Oh, jeez. Don't want to scratch the paint. Let's 
Silva, you're fine. Go ahead. Hi, Chris. Hi, Griffin. Hey, baby. That's my dog. Silva, can you just relax? No one's bothering you. Silva, you should... If I could just get this camera. All right, lens looks good, looks clear. I don't think we uh, fogged it up at all. Then. Precious! Silva, do you want to go outside? You, I'm tired of you, Silva. You gotta relax. That's Griffith. This is Precious, my dog, and this is Silva. He's just upset because he's in the crate and he just barks at everyone. I don't know what his problem is. Come here, Silva. You need to be nice. Precious is going pee. I don't know if you guys have a good view of the backyard here. Oh, only 10% battery. There's a warning on the screen. But yeah, that's Precious. That's Griffith. This is Silva. I've been watching so many dogs the last few months. Oh, Silva. Silva! Precious, stay outside, because Silva just doesn't want to behave. Silva's just so small, but wants to try to act tough and get aggressive. And my baby Precious does not like that. This dog has no chill, bro. Like, like clearly he's, he's outsized so much, and he just does not care. It's hilarious. Precious is like twice the size, and Griffith is like three times the size with a huge amount of muscle. And he just does not give a shit. He just thinks he's so tough. Alright. Physique check. This is not flexing. And that's flexing. Looking like... If I had to guess my weight right now, I'd probably say like 153. Although I'm pretty dehydrated. I'm trying to think about how much I've been eating the last few days. Yesterday I actually ate a lot of food. I'm not gonna cap to you guys, man. I ate like five TV dinners yesterday. If you know what those are. I'm not I'm not even trolling. Like ravioli and Alfredo and stuff. So there you have it. Now, I told you 153, it says 154, but I have on these shoes, which probably weigh like a pound or something, pound and a half, I don't know. And I have on these shorts and I have on this watch and I'm holding the camera. So actually, I don't know, probably 152 then. So I said 153, but then I said I'm dehydrated, which is true. So a little bit less, so I was pretty much right on point. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to end this so I can hydrate, stretch, and work out. Take a shower. And then I got some work to do. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's my baby girl. You can hear Griffith just barking and barking. But that's not Griffith. Oh, yeah, that's the dog behind the fence next door. Neighbors. Come on, Silva. Good boy, good boy. Relax, Silva. Alright. I'll turn the camera towards me. Even though my hair is probably extremely messed up. Thank you guys for watching, man. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, peace out.